Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsus T, and today we start a new Let's Play series, Game Dev Tycoon. It's a simulation game where you develop computer games and hopefully make a profit. So let's get rolling. To start off, you name your company and player and then there are some other settings. As I do not want to spoil too much, let's not take the hints from previous gameplays and have a leisurely run of 42 years in gameplay. So let's get started with our first game. Uh, we have to pick topic, a story, and a platform, and then find a good name for it. And who? Let's start with game dev as a topic. Make it a simulation game. Name it game dev tycoon and do it uh, we have two platforms the G64 and the uh, PC and uh, the dev cost for the G64 a bit higher so let's start the first game on the PC uh, make this a text based game because it's cheaper and then start hacking away uh, there are three different stages and each stage has three different aspects you can focus on. And I think here uh, for simulation it's engine, uh, not so much story, not so much gameplay. And then you distribute uh, design points and uh, technology points uh, as you go along you also create bugs and uh, gain knowledge uh, through the research points and basically the design and the technology points come from the uh, uh, different aspects you you have here um, because uh, for example, graphics uh, that's more on the on the design side, but something like engine or uh, AI that's more on the technology side. So that's how everything comes together. It's not that clear cut or at uh, that clear uh, this early on but uh, later on there will it will be a bit more uh, distinct so now all the uh, bugs are worked out we can finish the game and for the uh, various aspects we gain some uh, some uh, points here Let's release the first game and then just do our second one which will be uh, sports. Um, sports. Let's do another simulation game. This time for the, uh, the G64. And we name this Summer Olympics 1 because we are in year 1. And if this is a Olympics, because if this is a good match, there will be many more. Uh, let's make this a graphic game and the Wii U for the first one came in 
it's a seven. Seven is is very good for the first game. Engine seems to be uh, important here. Great. So let's get on. Ooh, we made the news. Hopefully we can gain fans here. So let's just do the same settings again. Okay, 4,000 units. Well, it's not a number one spot, but it garners some fans. Which is a good start. And let's just uh, uh, push through with this one. Same settings all over. 10,000 units. Ooh, very nice. For a first game, that's great. Uh, almost there. Finish the box. Earn some more points here. Yep. Finish that one. And we have new high scores for design and technology. Some more um, uh, points to go around. Then let's create a game report for the first game. And while that's going on, the game review for the second are coming in. Six. And seven. Number seven. And another seven. So overall, pretty similar to the first game, so I think the first one uh, was a bit better. 1200 uh, copies uh, made uh, 86,000 in cash. So that's that's pretty solid. So then let's do the report for the second one as well and look at what we found out. So game dev, simulation, great combination. Who have, would have thought that? Then sound, quite important for the simulation game. PC simulation, great combination. Okay, the G64 from Govodor is outperforming the PC. So, um, let's do another game. Uh, we did those two. Um, post a couple up. Apocalyptic um, sounds like an adventure game. Let's do this on the G64. Uh, but also name the game. Game names are an important uh, part of it. Um, day after okay uh, what does did this report say sports simulation great combination sound quite important for this game as well okay uh, this one is an adventure, so I would guess uh, engine is not that important, but gameplay and story quest are.
Don't scratch your head. Get a move on. Ooh, and we are already at 200,000 cash uh, when we started out with uh, with uh, 70,000. So uh, we are on a great way. Okay, the we sold about so many units, but we we made a lot more profit of it. Don't know how that works out. But it does. Okay. Let's get those box worked out. One more design point and then finish the game. Okay, Japanese company Nivento launches a new gaming console. And we'll see how that works out. Okay, so no new high scores there. Um, and let's do some research in some new topic. Um, ninja. And the reviews are in. Oh, that looks like a very bad game. Every once in a while you have these, um, but the good point here is you can learn from your mistakes. So uh, let's do a game re report on that one to figure out where we were, where we went wrong. We can now also do a uh, contract work uh, to basically hone our skills with uh, something that does not uh, create a game. Okay, post ecliptic and adventure seems to be okay. Engine not important for this type of game. So does not really tell us that much what went wrong. Um, werewolf. What can we do with werewolf? RPG. Wolves at full moon. And another G64 game. Okay. I basically don't play uh, RPG games, so I have no idea what I'm doing here. But I guess RPG is somewhat similar to uh, to adventure. So let's just do something and hope that I get it right. Okay, the test with uh, interesting working controllers. Never seen something like that. Oh, some box in there and finish. 
at least on the design part uh, we get uh, some more points and almost leveled up everywhere uh, let's also research a new topic UFO and the reviews what do they say it's a 6 not bad another 6 another 6 and a 5 so after our failure with the previous game I think that's somewhat of uh, a good recovery here um, can we do a game report on that one Yeah, at least we are once again above 200,000 viral RPG. Great combination. Sound not very important. G64 RPG, it's, it's okay. Or a good combination. So... Let's find something new. Um, Ninja. Uh, sounds like uh, action. And let's do the uh, action. On the uh, G64 Ninja Fighting Stars. Because gameplay important story quest not so much. If I think along uh, lines like games uh, like uh, Street Fight or uh, Super Smash Bros, basically they don't have a, a story. It's just. Um, bashing in other hats. Well, world design might not be that important, but sound could be. And the test by Nivento is released. Okay, bugs are fixed, then let's release it. New house core on the designs. And let's release this one. Um, oh. And the reviews are in. Seven. And a six. And a six. And an eight. Gameplay seems to be somewhat important here, so let's do the game report. Then let's do some more research here. New topic um, Vampire. And let's have a look at the report. Ninja action great combination, graphic impo very important, and uh, action on the G64 that's good.
Okay, then let's develop a new game with the new topic. Um, Horrors of the Night. Adventure. Let's tr no. Uh, let's do an odd G sixty four. Okay. Here we see uh, uh, the um, hints from the from what we learned so far. Question mark uh, means it's not uh, yet that solid, uh, probably because we learned it for adventure, but not for uh, this topic. So, let's try this combination. It's always a bit of uh, a balancing act till you know what you're actually doing. Which takes a while. Mm, uh, okay. Maybe sound here is not so important. Let's fix those bugs. Finish the game. Okay, that's not really a uh, big high scores there, um, but we need a new topic anyway. Well, that sounds great. That does not look that promising. Okay, Vampire and Adventure, probably not the best combination. Gameplay, not very important. World design, ver world design very important. G64, Adventure, great combination. So, um, let's research custom game engine. That's probably something we will tackle in the next episode. But let's do the research first. Okay. The test is a success. So maybe we will do a game for it. And we can research more stuff, but first let's let's do another game. In the wild wild west horror. Um, make it an action game and name it uh, High Noon. Um, let's go with the G64 again. As we know, it's not that bad for action. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get on with it. And of course the box rolling in. Interesting thing here is that uh, most uh, software companies during that time, meaning the, the 70s and the, uh, the uh, 80s, seem to have started out in a, in a garage. So, at some point, hopefully uh, pretty soon, we will move out of the garage. First, we need to uh, earn a bit more money here with a good game. Um, do some research in the meantime. Ooh, airplane. Airplane could be good. I have some ideas there. Reviews are in. High noon. Okay, that looks good. Eight. And another eight. And a six. And another s Ooh, a seven. Okay. That should be a quite decent game. Okay, research completed, so uh, let's do the, the game report. Okay. So, basically uh, uh, with target audience we can now define if we want to uh, develop a game for everyone or young people or um, a more mature um, focus group. Okay, Wild West action, good combination, not great but good. Artificial intelligence seems to be important. Okay, but I guess on that note we will finish this episode and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon in the next one. So for now it's goodbye.